Let's look at how we can reference multiple workbooks through VBA code. By default, if you do not include a workbook reference, VBA will assume the sheet you are referencing in your code is contained within the active workbook. If your macro only involves a single workbook, this is typically acceptable. Once you start referencing between at least two workbooks, workbook references are required to tell the macro where it can find the worksheet it is looking for. Let's assume we have two workbooks, each with a single worksheet, and we want to use a macro to assign the value that is presently in cell A1 in workbook 1 to cell A1 in workbook 2. To do so, first we need to make sure both workbooks are open. Then, we can use code very similar to our worksheet referencing tutorial. However, we will need to go one level higher and include a workbook's reference. We also need to follow the same logic for the workbook we plan to assign the value to, which in this case is workbook 2. Unlike the worksheet referencing tutorial, we do not have multiple notations for referencing workbooks. There are still multiple ways of referencing worksheets once you have referenced the workbook, but that is not the case for workbooks themselves. With the workbook reference, ensure the name is always within quotation marks, and you always include the file type of the workbook. Since we only need one of these three lines of code, let's remove the versions where we can reference the worksheet name and object name. Let's run the macro. We see the expected output in cell A1 in workbook 2. Workbook referencing becomes even more useful and necessary when we want to open, manipulate, and close multiple workbooks throughout the course of a macro. This allows us to keep track of what data moves where, and it provides extremely clear rules for VBA to follow.